the people that are suffering the most are the children. This temporary uh, solution, which is um, the camp, a detention camp, is nowhere for a child to be. This Canadian woman's three-year-old niece has been detained for over a year in a squalid camp in northeast Syria for the wives and children of ISIS suspects. The girl's Canadian father is dead. She is one of 47 Canadians stuck in northeast Syrian camps and prisons. 26 of them are children. None of the Canadians has been charged with a crime. The reason why I'm advocating is not just for my niece, it's for all the other Canadian kids that are in there. And when I was asking for help from the government, nobody would help me. They just kept directing us to other people or say, there's nothing that we can do right now, we're just waiting, we're just waiting, we're just waiting. The detainees don't have enough food, water or medicine. For more than a year, relatives have been imploring Canada to help rescue them. So far, the Canadian authorities have not brought home a single one. C'est les enfants qui n'ont pas décidé d'aller là-bas, qui n'ont pas décidé de naître là-bas ou d'aller là-bas sans, sans, sans rien, qui se voient privés d'une qualité de vie qu'ils auraient pu avoir ici. Euh, et je crois que c'est ça que le gouvernement devrait réaliser. The Canadian government says it is unable to bring its citizens home. Right now, we qualify that it is too dangerous for Canadian officials to go into Syria and into those, those refugee camps. But 20 other countries have brought home citizens from these same camps and prisons. Canada should act urgently to help and bring home all its nationals stuck in northeast Syria. It can prosecute any adults suspected of serious crimes back home. Je crois que si on parle du Canada, je pense que les gens sont capables de comprendre euh, qu'un enfant est innocent dans cette histoire-là et puis qu'il devrait avoir même, il doit avoir le droit aux mêmes euh, possibilités que, que les, les autres enfants canadiens.